I just got another emergency alert. Good morning. This time, evacuate the coast. This is an evacuation and tsunami. This is a training. And I'm in a basin. This is a tsunami basin. I'm, if the tsunami came over that levee there, I would be in the direct line. So I was like, oh shit. And then I looked at these guys, Japanese people. They don't seem in too much of a hurry. Then I got the uh, emergency alert on my phone. And I'm reading it from top to bottom and it's like, tsunami, tsunami, evacuate, blah, blah, blah. And then at the very bottom it says this is training. Anyways, I am uh, packing up the tent, putting together the last minute stuff, and I'm about to get on the road. Today is going to be tiring. Yeah, here are pictures from uh, from the destruction and the tsunami. It looks like the, this whole town was wiped out. They're building a huge wall over here to protect the, the village. And I mean, everything's new. You can feel it in the uh, roadways. You can f see it in the houses. Everything's pretty modern, both interesting and sad. <laughs> well, guys, I haven't left <laughs> this place at all. <laughs> Um, I was about to leave and had that away, but then I'm like, you know, this is a, a metro station and a tourist center. Gotta have some Wi-Fi. Pulled it up. So I uploaded the episode from a couple of days ago, so at least there'll be something out there. I still have a couple episodes backed up. Now I gotta get going. I, I, I wasted an hour. Not wasted. I utilized an hour here. Now things might change, but I have a feeling today is going to be a uh, arduous. Not not like physically too hard, but I'm just like a little bit blah. Also, I am in such beautiful areas that I just want to stop and look around <laughs> so much that I'm not making much headway. So first, look at this look at this beautiful road I'm on. This video does not do justice. I think the salt spray from uh, the ocean is getting on my lens, which is why it's kind of, it's not very crisp. Also, check this out. Snake, like, in pretty good condition. He must have gotten hit by a car, but he's not smushed. I mean, he's still fresh. Anyways, keep it on, keep it on. Oh, <laughs> took me almost an hour to get up that hill. It's like a 10, 12 percent grade, horrible. I'm in this brand new, it's like a subdivision, like sort of like prefab homes. Looks very, very new. It is Tanohata, Tanohata. I bet these are people that used to live down in, in the in the path of the uh, tsunami and then they just uh, relocated them up here. I wonder if the government just built these houses for them. You could tell uh, everything's like really spanking brand new. 
There, they're building another one over there. I mean, this is way, way up, winding up on the top of this uh, cliff. I wonder who gets the big ones and who gets these small ones in front. If you had a big house that was swept away, we'll give you another big one. If you had a small one, we'll give you a small one and they all look the same. All right, uh, I just stopped at a Lawson. Lawson is like a convenience store chain they have here in Japan. And uh, had lunch. We're into the afternoon. It's one, quarter after one. I still have like 70 kilometers in front of me. If it's anything like the 20 kilometers I've covered already, it's gonna be difficult to make it. Plus, I'm, I'm just like not in it as far as putting kilometers down. So I think what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna call it a moving rest day. And I am going to uh, go as far as I can at 25 kilometers from here. There's a camping site. If I feel like I just don't have it in me by the time I get there, I'm gonna pre prematurely end today's ride and just be happy with it because I don't wanna I don't wanna kill myself today going just up and down and up and down when you're not in it is uh, not a cool way to go. So just thought I'd let you know that. I'm about to go into a tunnel. I'm not in a crazy hurry to get to Sendai. I'd like to get there quick, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna kill myself. I ate some good food at Lawson and uh, I'm feeling relaxed. Just, just not ready to attack all these hills. Maybe tomorrow I'll be ready to attack. I'm at odds with myself. When I'm going up the hill, I'm like, shit, man, I gotta, I gotta cut my day down. When I'm at the plateau of the hill, I'm like, I can put some good distance down. When I'm on the downslope, I'm like, shit, I could do this all day, let's do 500 kilometers. Well, right now I'm at the plateau. I just went uphill for a good 30 minutes or so. And I'm looking at the map and I'm like, the campsite that's like 25 kilometers away is just about at the end of the big ups and downs. What the hell am I stopping there for? I should just keep going, right? The objective of the next few days is to get the Sendai. Once I get the Sendai, I'm gonna set up shop, basically. Do some editing, sit there for a while, and then move on after, but it's this kind of straightaways that I'm like, I could do it, just 50 more kilometers, just about double what I, you know, what I intended to do. I really have to decide what I'm gonna do here because if if I decide to go all the way, I gotta put the pedal to the metal and there shall be no sidelining. I know there's a whole bunch of you out there that are like, slow down, Matt, stop and smell the roses. But I'm also kind of excited about doing some distance. It's been a beautiful ride. So I've gotten a lot out of the ride today so far and I'm sure I'll get a lot more in the near future. Whether I stop or not, I'm pretty satisfied with, with the day. See, like right now, ah hell, let's go to Tokyo. <laughs> Cruising at 50 kilometers an hour. Very relaxing. But it only lasts so long and then I'll be on the up and up again. Saying, <laughs> when is this gonna end? Oh, these downhills are so nice. On a trike, they're even better. If you've never ridden a downhill on a trike, you should get your hands on one just, just to feel it. It has to be a good downhill though. On the top of the next plateau 
the one that I was dreading, it, it, it was just not as steep as the last one. The last one was so steep, it killed me on the way up. But this one, I didn't even realize I'm on the top already. All right, maybe it's my second win. Maybe it's a big lunch I had at Lawson's. Maybe it's a dinner that I have ready for me, but I'm going for it. Hey. Hello. Hello. I'm, going, I'm going the distance. Maybe going for speed. 40 kilometers to go. It is 3.32. Sunset is at 5.30. I will be riding into the evening. I can live with that. But at the end of this, we will be at a campsite that I originally wanted to go to. And I'm feeling good about it. All right, yeah, yeah. It's really funny how the ups and downs, literal, can give you the ups and downs emotionally, too. <laughs> I've definitely been feeling the ups and downs today. Right now, I'm on, a, I'm on an up. <laughs> let's, let's squeeze this up for all it's worth. Okay. This road that's gonna go this way was to the campground that I was originally cutting myself short to. Okay, it's a little bit less distance. I think I'll camp there. And I'm riding past it. Yes, sir. We are going past it. We're gonna tell you this day and put the original peg on the board of uh, 90, I think 90 plus kilometers. That was a road. Okay, we passed the point of no return. Now, let's finish this thing. Tourist centers. I'm at a tourist center here in the city, and if it's a little bit more busy, like than like a town, if it's just a city, then uh, you find that it has free Wi-Fi. So I just did some work here. But there's a lot of tour buses here, and a lot of people are looking at me. I'm riding through Miyaku, uh, Miyako. And you can't see it, it's over there, but just a huge brake wall, brand new brake wall that has been erected between the ocean and the city. It's weird. It's like a real defined huge separation wall. Let's hope it never has to serve its purpose, but now that it's there, I think it, I mean, it's really massive. There have been brake walls like that all up and down the coast. It sucks that it took such a devastating disaster to require it to be built, you know. It's getting into the later hours. Pretty soon, I'll be riding at night. It's okay though, still feel good. Amazing. They're, they're really forsaking the beautiful Riverside Drive for a uh, enormous, like, like this right here. Nice Riverside Drive. Well, this is what it's going to look like soon. A massive break wall. I guess a beautiful view doesn't matter if your house is washed away. So, it's understandable. There's a certain calmness when you ride at night. Everything kind of, I don't know, slows down a bit, I think, or I feel like it does. I think it's because you're not getting any sensory overload. There's not so much to look at. Your vision is narrowed. Even sounds seem to travel more at night. 
but there's also a silence and that's kind of a weird contradiction. It's gonna get a little bit darker, but it doesn't have much more to go before I'm in blackness. I've got uh, a little under 20 kilometers left. Seeing all that uh, tsunami rebuilding has me just contemplating. It's interesting to see what a first world will do with a clean slate or close to a clean slate. If you, if you take all the horrible aspects of it away, the death, the loss of family, the loss of property, and you simply look at it from a lens of taking away the old and rebuilding new, it's interesting to see what they have done with it. Had no choice but to rebuild all of this infrastructure that was wiped clean. The buildings are cleaner, the roads are cleaner. They're trying to do it right so it doesn't happen again. Or when it does happen again, it doesn't cause the damage that it did. I've been to Indonesia where that huge tsunami wiped away 300,000 people and the rebuilding was quite different. Ah. Uh. I'm in a campsite right now. It's totally closed down. The grass here is way overgrown. It's not in service. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I just picked a spot and set up the tent though. Sort of like stealth camping, but not really. Like stealth camping in a place that is made for camping. <laughs> That's not stealth camping. Anyways, I am tired. It was a long day. Ooh. See you tomorrow. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Oh, wow, I haven't done that in a while. Anyways, enjoy the relive. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.